Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch another tutorial by Jane's Daughters. I'm Lindsay. Hi, I'm Kim. And today we have a really quick tutorial to show you. This is the best way to make a wooden sign that you are going to add to another craft, whether that be a wreath or some sort of bigger, longer arrangement that you wanna add a little wooden sign into. This is a great way to stencil a word or a phrase onto your wooden piece, the best. So it adheres yeah. well, and we're gonna show you a couple mm -hmm. ways to do that. Yes, I'm real big on words, especially positive words. So when I do a wreath, a lot of times I will add a little sign. So I thought we would go ahead and do this um, tutorial to show you how to make one. So what all do we need? A piece of wood. You can you can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's and whatever size you want, you can actually have them cut that down for you. So I just start, I think this one's 12 inches by four. I also will use like an 18 inch one for like a home sweet home, some what a longer phrase, but since we're just doing individual words today. And I like to, to, like, this is a stain. This is a walnut stain I used on this one. And this is just a simple white craft paint. Painted white. Yes. I didn't paint the back of yep. these. But I like to give it a layer of Mod Podge just to give it a little bit more texture. Now this wood, I really didn't need to sand. Sometimes you do, if you're gonna do like a wood palette sign or something like that, that's a little rough, you would wanna go ahead and sand it as, as smooth as you can get it. This, I just give a thin layer and it dries clear. Just try to get it e as evenly as possible. Like I said, it does dry clear, so you're not really gonna even notice. Perfect. We've already these done. These I've already done. Things. And where did you get these stencils? I get these various places. You can get stencils at Hobby Lobby and Michael's does have two. We have the words blessed and welcome. Yes, that's what we're going to do today. I, I have seen other tutorials that have said to lay your stencil or your if you're going to do a vinyl mm -hmm. non-reusable stencil now if it's a vinyl non-reusable you actually can lay that on then mod podge oh. then do your painting okay but these stencils i use over and over and over again so i do not want to let something dry on my stencil because I will not be able to get it off properly to be able to use it. Okay, um, so now, make sure you, that your piece of wood is very dry from the Mod Podge. Yes, yes. Before you stick your stencil Now you're going to want to go ahead and center your word. And since this word is the same size, or yours is actually, oh, your stencil is a little bit bigger. So you're going to want to tape, tape the, the sides. sides and wherever else you can. I'm just gonna take yeah. it right here. Yeah, because you can actually hold the stencil down. While you're stenciling. Yeah. Now the, I, uh, you know, a lot of people like stencil brushes. I think I have one right here. This is a stencil brush. I personally like sponges. You can use these I got at the Dollar Tree, a pack of three for a dollar. And and also a little makeup triangle sponges okay. can work as well. You're gonna use black. Just and black just, acrylic yes. paint. Put a little bit on my paper towel. You don't need a lot. Because the key to stenciling is very, very, very little paint. Okay. So you're gonna wanna dab it in and then just dab it all over your paper towel. Go over it very, very lightly. Because you can, I go over it and then we'll go over it again. But the key is, especially on wood, the very, very little paint.
Yeah, I definitely feel like slow and steady wins the race with this one. Absolutely. So that you don't overdo it. And I don't mind that I'm not getting a super deep black. I actually kind of like that. No. But you can just keep going little light layer by light layer if you want it darker. But these are some that I had done previously, like I did Hello. This is also cute. Stay a while. not really good yes now what you're gonna do some people don't do this and it kind of drives me nuts but if you notice a stencil has welding that keeps it from falling apart so then what you're gonna want to do you can either use a toothpick or a very very fine paint brush again get a little bit of paint and you're just want to gonna want to go in and fill in that gap where it was welded this does not bother you, skip this step. But it really doesn't take long at all. And if you don't have a paintbrush, like I said, a toothpick would work. Just go in and fill in those welds. And it's good to go. Another thing I do sometimes with my signs is, um, which we will do a tutorial on this as well, is I'll make little rosettes and put it in the corner of the sign if I feel that it, if it needs something. And there you have it. Blessed and welcome. Absolutely. Thank yes. you guys so Thank much you. for tuning in to this week's tutorial. Please subscribe and share. And if you made one yourself, we would love to see it. You can DM us on Instagram or Facebook. And we'll see you next week. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.